Oh, what? What? The rebel fighters here in Benghazi, and you see them everywhere, would certainly identify with our next story. It's about a resistance leader who fought for many years, leading his forces against overwhelming odds. I'm referring to East Timor's leader, Janana Gusmao. Dateline's Mark Davis, no stranger to East Timor, has secured exclusive footage of Gusmao's capture by Indonesian forces in 1992. Here's Mark. Government headquarters, Dili, East Timor. Janana Guzmao's days are now full of the niceties and formalities that Prime Ministers everywhere must endure or enjoy. But 20 years ago he was leading a very different life. Then he led the armed struggle against Indonesian occupation from the jungles and mountain tops of East Timor. Hoje, quando muitos governos deviam envergonhar-se da sua complicidade no genocídio perpetrado em Timor-Leste pelos indonésios. Guzmao and his guerrillas were the biggest thorn in Indonesia's side as Indonesia sought to legitimise their occupation of East Timor. Soon after Janana filmed this message to the world from a jungle hideout, he would be facing his darkest hour, surrounded, captured and imprisoned for life. His troops and the movement they supported flung into disarray with the loss of their famous or infamous leader. And if you say something, you talk and... Janana's 1992 capture and the remarkable interrogation that followed were filmed, a film that has long been assumed to be lost. But this incredible footage has now been leaked to us from inside the Indonesian army and screens for the first time tonight on Dateline. I could not believe, because I never thought that they will release this. Janana has seen some of this footage privately before agreeing to be filmed. The first time that I saw it was, wow. Now he watches it in its entirety for the first time. Next year will be 20 years. 20 years. You look like a boy. In, you, how old were you in this one then? I had 20 years, 40. I was 40, yeah, 45. Seriously, you look about 25 in this one. Bro. He watches the film begin in the base of the Kapasas Special Forces as they prepare to strike at the house he's been secretly living in. They're getting ready, I think, yeah. the preparation. Janana had been hiding in this house in Dili for weeks, smuggled into town to arrange a weapons shipment and conducting his business from an underground bunker hidden beneath a trapdoor in one of the cupboards. My place was underneath, underneath. <laughs> in, the un in the underworld. Yes. People go there, they will not know, absolutely. But on November 20, 1992, it seems someone did know. Indonesian special forces who were gathering outside. I started to hear when they approached the house and start to talk in, in Indonesia. Um, usually when the, the dogs bark, we know that there is uh, strange people. Yeah, yeah. I immediately uh, went down. Un underneath? Underneath. Crunching feet on the driveway would be enough to disturb Janana and no doubt terrify the man who owned the house and was hiding him. Augusto Pereira, remarkably an officer in the Indonesian police force. This is my home on the list. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm, this is my dog. Augusto is reliving the moment his life fell apart. Those feet on the driveway, the barking dogs, signalled the collapse of his world as he knew it. 
these few minutes of video heralding the years of torture that were to follow. Abuse, imprisonment and the collapse of his family. The team began to search the house, but they knew what they were looking for. A hidden trapdoor in a cupboard leading down to a bunker. If they, they open, I was... <laughs> So you're watching, watching. I was watching. <laughs> okay, I'm here. <laughs> what were you thinking as they were about to come in? Were you going to fight well, or surrender? Um, well, it, it took time. It took. Uh, uh, maybe it took only five minutes, but uh, it seemed forever. Oh, an <laughs> eternity. But I was thinking, because I, I had a um, uh, machine gun there, I said, I kill, uh, can, uh, how to say, I resist or not. And I had time enough to make uh, a choice. I said, well, uh, if I resist, I'll be a hero. Wow. He's dead, a hero, but everybody surrounding here will be killed. And uh, I put the um, hypothesis, hypothesis to um, okay, I surrender. <laughs> Very happy. Janana was a trophy catch. Rather than being shot and dumped at sea, after posing for photos, word was sent immediately to the head of the Indonesian army in Jakarta. I believe that uh, they will not hurt me, they will not kill me, because they would like to use me. Janana was whisked away to await the arrival of General Tri Satrisno, handcuffed, given a cup of tea and interviewed by an intelligence team who appear to have come straight from the tennis courts. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the house, the search was on through Janana's possessions. Every weapon, secret document, radio transmitter found was a potential death sentence for Augusto Pereira. And he is seeing the full extent of what they uncovered for the first time. They're finding the guns and evidence and things. Yes, yeah. they're right here. It was all there. Yes, all right. 
di rumah uh, bapak polisi waktu siapa tadi tuh Agusto 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 Perida Augusto had gone to work on the morning of the raid. He was on this road teaching other policemen traffic duties when an unmarked army car pulled up behind him. Seven o'clock, he came after me. Uh, you have name Augusto Pereira? I, I, I say, yes, I, my name is Augusto Pereira. Now you go. This was police or Capasus? Uh, Capasus, Capasus. Yeah, yeah. Capasus. Uh, Augusto was dragged off to a military compound his nightmare just beginning as General Tri Satrisno, head of the Indonesian Armed Forces, arrived in Dili from Jakarta. Cameras rolling as he congratulates his troops and prepares to interrogate his old foe, Janana Guzmao. With a dozen or so generals watching, an astounding exchange begins between captor and prey. Satrisno offers his catch one last chance to accept integration. Everyone in the room knows that a public statement from Janana could end the war, but his reply wasn't a helpful one. With his freedom and possibly his life at stake, Janana remarkably continues to pick at Indonesia's most sensitive sore, the illegality of their occupation under international law. While this exchange was happening, Augusto's ordeal was beginning. He had nothing to offer the Indonesians, just a vehicle for fury to be vented, the more customary treatment for East Timorese prisoners. What happened to you? Ah, oh, my friends, I know say this because I, I know say but because I suffering all over, but yeah, little bit. He, Indonesian, Indonesian army, uh, put on the core under my, yeah, put on the. Yeah, a like a noose, a court. Uh, right here. Yeah. Over here, a uh, one of the little city. Electricity. Electricity. Put under here, here. Put under my in. Yes. My hand. Before. Uh, the ele electric. Electric. Uh, Augusto returns to the military compound he was tortured in, now a building depot. I know her clothes. Know her clothes. All over, I like it, baby. Yeah. This water from toilet. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Put together water under here. Up to here. Up yeah. to here, up there. Yeah. I sleep under here, I no sleep three months. Three months. They, uh, they put you in a toilet, in like a, a Like a toilet, all over toilet. But just to lie down or stand up? No, I'm shake up. Staying up like staying this. Up. No, yeah. no go sleeping, what do you sleep? This house of horrors was separate from the official prisons in Dili and the prying eyes of any international visitors. I never, never come back here, I no, yeah. never, 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 never. I, because I'm very young in this, 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 this place, uh, uh, many people die here. How many people in Timor should die here? I don't know how many. Janana Guzmao well knew that his own fate lay at the whim of Teresa Trisno. No, Janana can die, can die. It seems that the general didn't get the answers he was hoping for, and the meeting is brought to an end. 
statement saya ini Anda renungkan supaya nanti Anda bisa juga bisa menyadarkan semua saudara-saudara kita yang di gunung jadi tidak ada gunanya mereka mimpi ada bantuan dari luar negeri karena Timur Timur sudah menjadi tanggung jawab seluruh rakyat Indonesia termasuk rakyat Timur Timur Janana Guzmao was sent to trial in Jakarta and was sentenced to life. Augusto Pereira was held and tormented here for a year, then imprisoned for another six until the Red Cross negotiated his release. My wife, my grandmother, all ever, my son, my daughter, all come in the, this, and the, this, this house. This was a, t a terrible place. A uh, terrible place. This is a terrible place. His wife and kids were released, but the family never reunited. Augusto lives alone, one of the thousands of bit players who gave their lives or part of them for what seemed an impossible dream. At this time, did you ever imagine that you would win? Did you ever think you would win? Ah, uh, yes. Mark Davis reporting. There's a fact file on East Timor and all the countries we feature on our website. Go to sbs.com.au slash dateline.